Hey guys, Mr. Mises here, <clears throat> and today I'm going to be talking to you about sequences. Now, um, this is the first section in um, the three section. Yeah, there's three videos, but they're going to be all pretty short. Um, I just kind of chunked them up a little bit, and I'm going to go pretty quickly through a couple of things here with you with just uh, an introduction to what sequences are. So, uh, one of the first things we need to know about sequences is how to deal with a factorial. Um, so hopefully in a previous course you've seen a factorial. Here we've got n, n factorial, uh, or or if you want to call it, you could just say n. <laughs> Get it? Because it's it's an ex exclamation point. So ex okay. Anyway, um, so it's a, a factorial, and a factorial is basically um, you're going to start at n and you're going to multiply it uh, by going down one integer each time. Um, you can also flip it around. I know that some teachers have done one times, two times, three times, dot, 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 n minus one, n minus, sorry, n minus one, <clears throat> n, and so forth. So either way you write it is going to be okay. Um, it's just, uh, I like to write it this way, um, just starting at one and going up, uh, but, um, you, you know, you can go down as well. So let's go ahead and simplify n plus one plus two factorial uh, over n factorial. So in these cases, it's kind of actually nice to start from the top and go down. So n plus two factorial is going to be n plus two times n plus one times n times n minus one, and then we're just going to keep going down there on and on until we get to one n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times dot 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 all the way till we get to 1. So now what do you got here? Well notice here that all of this is the same as all of this. All right so the n's go away, the n minus 1's go away, the n minus 2's goes away, all the way out to those 1's that whole thing goes away and we're left with n plus 2 times n plus 1. All right, so that could be simplified. Um, the factorials can be simplified if you um, just expand those factorials out. And you'll see where we get to, to use those later on with sequences. So basically, guys, a sequence is just an ordered list of numbers. And, um, and it's a list, not a sum, just a list with, um, with commas. We can write out, we can write a, a, um, a sequence in two ways, well really three ways. We can write out all the numbers. We can write it recursively. We're, basically what a recursive statement is, is, is it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a statement um, that defines a sequence based on a previous term. So it's, it's, it's um, telling us what our next term is based on what the previous term was. Uh, or we can write it explicitly, um, which is an expression using the nth term um, and using kind of like a formula. So that if we plugged in a number for n, we would get that term. Okay, that's that's an explicit or a recursive. So let's take a look at some examples here of how we would write these. Um, let's write out the first five terms of a sequence where we have a sub n equals n over n plus 1. So the first five terms, we're always going to start out with n, in this case, with n equals 1. So we're just going to go and plug in uh, n equals 1 in there. And a sub 1 is going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 is 2. So we're going to have 1 half. With n equals 3, I'm sorry, excuse me, with n equals 2, we're going to have a sub 2, which is 2 over 2 plus 1, which is 3, which is 2 thirds. With n equals 3, we're going to have 3 over 4. n equals five, 4 is 4 fifths, 5 sixths, and so on. We only wanted the first five terms, so we're going to leave it like that. And there's our first five terms. So here we have a recursively defined sequence. And a recursively defined sequence, again, is a is a uh, defined sequence that's defined. Each term is defined by the previous term. So if a sub 1 is 5, what this is saying is that each term, each k plus 1th term, is equal to 3 times the previous term plus 4. 
So if I wanted the second term, a sub 2, I'd have um, a sub 2 is uh, 1 plus 1, which is 2. It would be 3 times the previous term, a sub 1 plus 4. Okay, so this is 3 times 5 plus 4, which is 19. That's the second term. The third term would be 3 times the previous term. The previous term was term 2, which was 19, plus 4, which is 61. The fourth term is going to be 3 times the third term, which was 61, plus 4. And that's a recursively defined sequence. It's, it's basically it's saying, okay, what um, do I need to do to my previous one to get to my next one? Now, recursively defined um, formulas are used a lot in computer science and computer programming. So if you're going to do anything with uh, computer programming, you're going to see recursive, recursive, um, recursively defined things a lot. So let's go and write these first five terms. The first term was 5. The next term we calculated was 19. Then we found 61. If we do all the work again and we do 3 times 61 plus 4, we're going to get 8, 187. And we do it again and we're going to get 565. Okay. So let's take a look at another one here. Write a recursive definition for the sequence 2, negative 6, 18, negative 54, and 160. Now we're doing a, a recursive definition. So we've got to figure out what do we need to do to 2 to get to negative 6. All right, so if, if a sub 1 is 2, what, how do we get 2 to negative 6? Well, I can multiply by negative 3. Well, let's see if that works each time. If I multiply by negative 3 for, to negative 6, do I get 18? I do. do I, if I multiply negative 3 from 8 to 18, do I get negative 54? I do. So each time, if I just multiply by negative 3, I'm going to get the next one. So I'm going to say that a sub k plus 1, my next term, is going to be negative 3 times my kth term, my previous term. All right? And this would be my recursive um, definition. Well, now how do I write an explicit definition or expression for the nth term? Well, that's going to be a sub n equals, now we're looking at the previous one here, all right? So my nth term is going to be, uh, this is my first term right here, right? a sub 1. So this is, uh, if you remember back, this is a geometric. Um, I'm doing negative 3 each time. And my expression is going to be um, negative 3 raised to the n minus 1 times 2. Let me show you how that works. Uh, if my n was 1, okay, my a sub 1, let me bring this over because I think you might, you might not have seen that. It might have been in my face here. So a sub 1 equals 2 times 3, negative 3 to the 1 minus 1 because I'm going to plug in. What I'm doing here is I'm plugging in whatever n is here um, and that's going to give me 2 and then if I want a sub 2 I'm plugging in 2 in for n and I'm going to get 2 times negative 3 which is negative 6 so you see this is a this is a what's called an explicit formula because we're actually plugging in for n to find the nth term um, this is geometric all right, so um, there you go. We have uh, different ways of writing sequences. And in the next video, I'll talk about what well, we're going to do a little bit of uh, talk, start talking some calculus with um, sequences. All right. So good day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.